Hello there, guys and girls. Louis here, bringing upfront creative content for CG artists. Welcome to one more weekly add-on review in partnership with Blender Nation, the best website for Blender news and resources and learning tutorials for Blender development and so. Um, today, I have another add-on made by past week's developer, Benjamin Salder. So if you haven't checked that out, the edge flow, um, here's the video on the top right corner. And he made another add on long time ago, actually nothing new, uh, called UV highlight, which tries to address the problem with working with UVs inside of Blender. Now he said to me that he's not planning to update this to 2.8, unfortunately. And, uh, this is something that I think most people agree on to be on new releases and branches of Blender 2.8, uh, probably next year or probably on the character pipeline workflow, maybe. Uh, I think UV editor really needs some upgrades to compete with industry standard softwares. And this is something really neat for people working with UVs. Uh, as you can see, I can preview in the 2D he, uh, viewport here, which areas of your of my 3D mesh is being mapped onto the texture. So um, it really works well with, with selecting islands and also with uh, the edge selection tool because with the edge selection tool, you can see the edges that are sharing the same islands, uh, AKA they are the same edge on the 3D mesh. They just appear to be two different edges because the, of course, the object data is being split. So uh, this is really cool to preview that. And also um, it kind of gets slow. Not, uh, it's a little slow when dealing with high complex meshes. So if you have a polygon, like uh, a model above 20,000 Ks, it will get really slow. So Benjamin suggested that this would be um, better if implemented on the C side of things regarding Python uh, in the Blender branch. And um, this is something that I think most people agree on that is a really uh, differential and really time-saving approach to handling your meshes. So here you can see, I can select multiple islands and leave them selected and preview that. Uh, this is also really excellent for generating quick ID masks for Substance, for example, or uh, other softwares that need a ID map, right? Or a material ID map. There are also some minor features such as auto converting or auto marking boundaries as UV scenes. So per se, I don't have any UV scene marked on this model yet. If I select this, it will put a, a scene around every island border. So let's do that. And you can see now I have this uh, red scenes here. And you can also convert those things to a sharp uh, smoothing an angle. So if I turn down blue, now I have this sharp um, smoothing angles applied as well. Uh, something that particularly you may want or may not want in your model, uh, depending on your workflow. In this case, I found it to be uh, kind of interesting to have. And it also uh, can show UDIM tiles. So per se, if I select a island and put it um, on around the square default uh, mapping on the UV island, I can say which tile in a UV uh, UDIM tile I'm being mapping the, this part. So it's really really interesting to have this feature as well. Last but not least, it also does include some uh, 
custom options on the settings menu. So if you come to user preferences and go to the UV highlight preferences here, we can uh, match the selection colors of the add-on to match our team. So let's say I want to turn the default options, uh, the default selections to something like red. I can do that right here. And now um, the color becomes red, both on here and on the viewport. So yeah, really minor things, but um, really, really cool to include these, these little options for people with different team styles, such as me. And yeah, guys, I think that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed this. If you like this add-on, I highly suggest to push up uh, comment on the video and also share with developers, share with people on the Blender community to uh, implement this on future releases of Blender and other branches because uh, it's a must have feature. It is time saving and it does have um, a huge impact on the way people understand and learn uh, UV mapping as a beginner and also as a advanced user uh, working with complex meshes. I think this is a, a, a game changer. It's something that other softwares have and Blender um, really is, is turning the, the point with this. So uh, until next week, guys, see you soon.